gaming. I'm gonna assume that me, you, we all enjoy it, right? Maybe? In PC gaming, the specification of your system determines how enjoyable of an experience you're, you're gonna have. You know, this is why game developers publish minimum system requirements and recommended system requirements when a game releases. The minimum system requirements means that the game developer made some estimations and ran some testing and determined that, you know, this list of components was able to run this game smoothly on its lowest settings. The recommended system requirements, on the other hand, is, uh, is a tier of hardware they found to be like the sweet spot, you know, for running the game smoothly with most to all of its graphical settings turned up. You know, but not all of us have high-end gaming PCs, and maybe your computer's, you know, a little old, and you don't feel like or can't buy or build a new one. So what are you, what are you supposed to do? Well, you might have another option. Let's say you work for a company, and that company provides you with a laptop, and you think, you know, hey, this computer's newer than mine. It's got better hardware than mine. I mean, it runs AutoCAD and SolidWorks. There's no way I can't pawn some noobs in Fortnite. Right? Yeah, you think. I don't know. Well, if that's the case, then you're in luck because that's exactly what I aim to do with this, my Lenovo ThinkPad P50. So let's take a look at this little workstation and see how it, you know, it matches up to the recommended system requirements of a game like Fortnite. First off, CPU. Fortnite's recommending an i5 running at 2.8 gigahertz. Not too bad, you think we can manage? Well, what's the P50 working with? The P50's got an i7. Oh, wait a minute. A whole tier higher. We have to be good, right? Uh, well, not really. An i7 just means we got multi-threading, which doesn't do us much, if any, good in gaming. What we're really concerned with is the CPU speed. Fortnite's only asking for 2.8 gigahertz, but what are we working with? 2.7. So it's a little slower, but it's still well above the minimum requirement of 2.4 gigahertz, so good start. RAM. So RAM. Fortnite's looking for 8 gigs. Not a big deal. A lot of people can manage eight gigs. And what do we got? Well, we have 24 gigs. Uh, hmm, I don't even know how you end up with 24 gigs. Uh, I don't know who made this thing. We don't ask questions. We're good, we're above eight. Uh, Fortnite. <laughs> Fortnite. Fortnite is wanting a 64-bit version. <laughs> Fortnite is also wanting a 64-bit version of Windows 7, 8, or 10. So let's check to see what we got. And we have a 64-bit version of Windows 7, so check mark we are good so now it's the make it or break it moment the video card where dreams are lost and shattered now Fortnite's only recommending a GTX 660 or an AMD HD 7870 so uh, Jesus Fortnite that's 2012 tech are you even you know are you even trying so what's the P50 bringing to the Cardi well it's a Quadro M 1000 M it's a workstation GPU. I mean, it runs CAD, but I mean, will it run Fortnite? I don't know. We'll have to take a look. Fortnite is recommending the GTX 660 as one of its cards, which has 960 CUDA cores, a base clock of 980 megahertz, boosting to 1033 megahertz, and two gigs of DDR5 running at 1059 megahertz. The Quadro M1000M only has 512 CUDA cores. <laughs> Its base clock's 993 megahertz, but there's no boost clock. And it has two gigs of DDR5 running at 1,253 megahertz. So let's just say, you know, it's, it's, it's similar. But there's only one way to find out if this thing's gonna work. We all, we all have to play. Now I know what you're thinking. I'm not loading a bunch of games on my work PC. Uh, that's a horrible idea. And to that I would say, yeah, yeah, it's, it's probably a bad idea. Not one that I intend to make though, because I'm going to be loading everything we need to play Fortnite on this. This is a Data Traveler 100G3 64 gig flash drive. <laughs> Workarounds, love them. So let's get this baby loaded up and give this a squirrel. Okay, so you can't just go to epicgames.com and download Fortnite to your flash drive. The game will only allow you to download to a local drive. However, there is some tomfoolery we can pull to kind of trick this, uh, this download into downloading to this flash drive. But to ensure this works without any issue, make sure that you do the following instructions on the computer you intend to use so your paths don't get all wonky and corrupted. Start out by going to your search bar and typing disk management. 
Find your flash drive from the list of available drives. Right click and select change drive, letter, and pass. Then click add. Select mount the following empty NTFS folder and then browse to your local C and click new folder. Name this something you can identify as your flash drive. I called mine the Kingston NXT, which just means extension to me. And then just click OK. Now we'll go to epicgames.com and we'll select download for tonight. Now when it gives you the prompt for a destination folder, we're going to click change. And we're going to click the drop down menu and select our local C and then we're going to browse and find that folder we collected, not collected, created and click OK. And now when you click download, the game's going to download to your flash drive and think it's a local drive. Woo! Fancy! Now we're still going to get a launch icon pooped over on our desktop, just move it back into the flash drive. Dunzo. Okay, to prove that I'm not trolling you here, we're going to show you that this is running off of this flash drive, so plug it in and get her going. Let's plug it in and get her going. Now, although the game is running off this flash drive, I can't, you know, 100% guarantee there's not any hidden files somewhere in a hidden data folder that belongs to the game, but uh, if it's that risky for you to put games on your work computer, I'd recommend just not doing it. But you should be able to run the game from this flash drive fine, and all the relevant files are stored on the flash drive, so you have been warned. Oh, so you're not going to be breaking any speed records when it comes to download speeds when you uh, run this game off this flash drive. It's, it is a flash drive, so the read and write times are what they are, so if you, uh, if, you, if you do have the opportunity to load it onto your local C, go for it. You're going to have a lot better performance than you are off, uh, off the flash drive, but it does work, so it is an option. Okay, so now we're in the game. Let's see what this... Uh, how the old quadro handles some Fortnite action. Let's check our what presets we're rocking on here. So currently we're on the game on medium presets at 1080p and when in the menu screen we're getting 60 FPS right now but we'll see how it works in game here in a minute. So right now the game is running at around 60 FPS. It'll probably drop if we get a little... I mean there's nothing out here but... Here we go, get some trees, we're at 50, 48, so this is, you know, this is a quadro, so it's not the best for gaming, but it does work. I mean, if you have, this is something you gotta do, you'll, this is playable. I don't know if it can do high presets. Let's give it a squirrel. So on high presets, we are sitting at 28, 30, 30, 30 FPS, 27, 25, so 25 to 30. Um, I mean, it is playable, but I'd much rather play on mediums if I was gonna be playing right now, so. Medium press, so medium presets on the quadro are working just fine. So it does work reasonably well. You can have an enjoyable gaming experience and you know, just to show that we are on this flash drive. Uh, since the game's are on this flash drive, as soon as I remove it, it should probably, it's gonna crash because we're running it off the flash drive. So there you go, game shut down to launch it but it should not work nope so there you go and that's it i hope uh i hope this was something that you guys found helpful and if you like this video make sure to hit that uh thumbs up button and consider you know subscribing because you know i wouldn't want to miss you any future videos but uh till next time we'll see you later